Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing good. So in today's video of data structure, we are going to discuss on linear search, which is a very simple search algorithm and it is sequential in nature. So it is a sequential search uh, where we check all the items one by one till a match is found. Otherwise, we keep on checking till we reach the end of the data collection. So I'm going to describe it by using a diagram. Okay. Here I have this uh, data collection uh, where I'm having some five items and I want to search if there is any item having a value as 100. So I'm going to start from the first position, which is my indexing zero. And I can see it is not 100. Moving on to the next item, this also is not equal to 100. Moving on next, this also unsuccessful. The fourth position matches the value of 100. So I can return by saying that the fourth position has a value. Now, if I want to perform a search for 1, 1, 2, then even the position 4 is unsuccessful search, right? This is not matching. Uh, moving on to the next indexing, which is the last element in the data collection. This is also not matching the search value 112. So I can return by saying that this value is not present in our data collection. So I'm going to implement linear search um, uh, using C. So I'm going to declare an array of size 5. I'm going to use one more variable which I'll be using for iteration. I'm going to declare position as minus 1 in case of a uh, search where the item we are searching is not present in the data collection, I'm going to return the position as minus one. And then see out, enter the five values. Moving on to the next line, I'm going to use for loop from the zero index to i less than five, which is the size of array. In how we used to do insertion, is in the array name, not index. Good, we are good with the insertion. Moving on to linear search. So I'm going to declare one more variable j, initializing it to the zero index. I'm going to use while loop where j is less than five. Now here, if array j, if that particular item at that index is equal to 23 then i'm going to update the position as j plus one because position is index plus one indexing is starting from zero and i'm going to bring out of the loop otherwise we will keep incrementing the value of j till uh, either we find the match or we reach the end of the data collection then I'm going to print the, the value 23 is found at position, just printing POS. Let's run this program. Enter the five values, 23, 44, 56, 76, 88. The value 23 is found at position one. So I, I hope you are comfortable in understanding the concept of linear search. I'm going to put the GitHub link in the description section so that you, in case you want to check for more values or if you want to check if the value is present or not present in the arrays or any other data structure, you can modify from using that code itself. Um, in case, you have any concerns or you want to touch on more concepts related to linear search uh, please mention in the comment section i hope you like the video thank you do subscribe the channel